Hi, I'm Dr. Duke. At Duke Chiropractic, we specialize in non-surgical sports medicine. Patients with chronic muscle tears and tendon problems commonly let their doctors inject cortisone into the area. And this is a mistake. There's been a paradigm shift in how we view these muscles and tendon injuries. They used to be viewed as being inflamed and you shoot cortisone into the area and it dramatically reduces the inflammation and kills the pain. However, now they're more viewed as degenerative. And emerging research in regenerative medicine says that we need to do exactly opposite of what cortisone does. So let me explain. When you have a tendon that has an injury, it fills in with like a, a hashtag of scar tissue that infiltrates the area in order to help it heal. However, that tissue is very weak and it rips and tears on its own and then it starts to develop more scar tissue and it gets to the point where, wow, my, my arm really hurts or my hamstring really hurts, whatever. And then as a result, there is a lack of blood supply that nourishes that tissue and then as you move your arm or your leg, it keeps on ripping and tearing and healing itself with scar tissue until it gets to the point where it doesn't have a blood supply at all. It's like having a lawn that's beautiful and lush and green and then not watering it ever again. That lawn just turns brown and brittle until it's just destroyed. And when you put cortisone into the tissue, it's doing exactly that. So now what we have to do is exactly the opposite. And at Duke Chiropractic, we're a full service rehabilitation center. We're using something called EPAP or radial shockwave therapy. And it's not really a shockwave, it's a pressure wave that's delivered as an impulse into the tissue that helps us get much deeper than what our hands can get. And as a result, it destroys the scar tissue, just bursts it and then it starts to regenerate blood supply so it nourishes the area and it has an analgesic effect. So it starts to numb the area and patients feel a little pain free just after the first visit. It's a comprehensive visit. We use heat, we use ultrasound, active release, grassing techniques. Then we use the EPAT and when we use it, we use five, six, seven thousand impulses all at once. It's a pretty long visit in the office. However, the, the outcome is fantastic. There's no needles, there's no anesthesia, and there's no lost time from exercise. And our patients start to feel better within just four to six visits. With regards to regenerative medicine, we're even seeing patients from Hospital for Special Surgery and NYU and pain management doctors to use the EPAC device on some surgical outcomes that didn't really go quite well. Maybe someone had a hip replacement and the hip isn't moving all the way, or maybe a knee replacement, and they need greater range of motion. Now we have everything possible that we can use in a non-surgical way to help that person get their full range of motion back and become pain-free again. I'm Dr. Duke, watch our videos, and then we hope to see you if you ever need our care.